Okay, so I'm going to add about two tablespoons of olive oil. Let that heat up. And then I'm just going to add um, the andouille sausage. Have you guys ever thought this? This is my first time. So this is going to be interesting. And I want to make sure that they get some color on them. I'll let them cook for a minute. And then I'm going to add bell pepper and okay onion. so that's looking really good i'm gonna add um the bell pepper and onion and um some garlic like a lot <laughs> and i'm gonna let this cook and you always want to remember to add your garlic when you add other garlic things will burn really fast so oh oops, sorry so you want to um just add that so that it can kind of get a little you know a little buffer that looks good and it smells the water is boiling I've salted it and I'm adding um, peanut. and just stir that so that it can do its okay, thing to make the alfredo sauce I'm adding this is probably what two tablespoons of um, butter <laughs> Two tablespoons of butter, and I'm going to let that melt. Do you guys remember how we made the alfredo so a long time ago? That's what I'm about to do. So I'm going to let that melt, and then um, add flour, just about a, two tablespoons or so. This is just to thicken it up, um, and then I guess I'll come back and show you the rest. Okay, so I'm adding flour, just not a lot, just about that much. That's not a lot. And I'm going to take my whisk. And we're just gonna cook cook the flour, right? Because we don't want our outfried sauce to taste like flour. We want it to be cooked and have nice flavor, right? Right. So now we're gonna add cream, heavy whipping cream. This is 16 ounces, which is two cups, right? You remember from elementary school. <laughs> um, and then we're going to add seasoning. And this is the more spice so it's a little bit spicier so we're gonna let that cook and thicken and then I'm going to add grated Parmesan cheese and about pasta that. should be done and I'm gonna add this and this to warm through so this is thickening back. up and it's getting that Cajun pasta color little blush color so I'm gonna add half of this tub of probably not even half um, of Parmesan cheese and this is gonna be so good guys I'm gonna add some fresh cracked black pepper a little I'm gonna taste it for seasoning for the salt flavor and then we'll see what okay. we have from so this. our sauce oh is very it's great I'm gonna add the sausage and peppers back and also the chicken to warm <laughs> to warm through right and my pasta is done, so I'm gonna let this warm and then I'm gonna add the pasta and baby, we're gonna be thin. Okay guys, we're all done. Look at this, it's so pretty. Um, of course I added spinach. Um, and I mean, it's not dry, there's plenty of sauce. The um, bell pepper and onion is it has a little uh, crunch to it, so not like a crunch, but you know, it's, it's just really good. This is really good, I'm so proud of myself. And if you guys make this, Please tag me so that um, I can see what a wonderful job this Cajun a wonderful pasta. dish it is for you guys. Okay, thanks so much for watching. Catch you next time. Bye.